この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしますこんにちは everyone It's Dan from Jidan.co.uk and today I'm here to tell you five more things I don't like about Japan Cheers for finding me video I appreciate that Today I'm here to give five more things that I don't like about Japan First of all, bit of a disclaimer, title's a bit clickbait in it But basically, I love Japan I've been here for two years, I want to be here for many more years and on the whole, I love being here, so don't get me wrong But, life is a balance, there's yin and yang um, or what were they called? Uh, Pinky and Percy or whatever they were called, them pigs that were different Anyway, so in life there's a balance and for every 25 things I think in Japan that I love there's a couple of things that, you know, get on me wick a bit and today I'm here to tell you about them things so don't get mad well, don't get too mad. I know this video is going to get much more views than the like video I made last week, which you can see up here. But take it with a pinch of salt. I'm not attacking Japanese people or Japanese culture. I'm just telling you some things that annoy me a bit. So, calm down. Anyway, let's get cracking. First thing in Japan that annoys me is bureaucracy. Japan is mad for some paperwork. I don't get it. But anything you want to do in Japan is going to require a permit or a form of some kind. And that can get a bit repetitive and a bit annoying. You want to go and you want to get a point card for your local convenience store, get some points. Best get good at filling out some forms, then, aren't you? Basically, you want to update your visa, you need a stack of papers about yay big. So, yeah, and you'll have to fill out the same information about 100 times on each form. Good thing is you'll get good at writing your address in kanji, but like, rest of the time, it's like, God, I've got to fill this out again. And sometimes you fill out the same piece of paperwork every month, but same thing. Case in point, my job. I get travel expenses for my job, right? They know where I live. They know where my nearest station is. And they know where I'm working. So they can work out how much it costs me to get to and from work. But every month I have to fill in a form. Which station I went from, station I went to, how much it cost, then return journey. Every day I've worked this month. And I have to do this every month. Like, it can't be that hard to just do that sort of stuff automatically. You've got technology here, man. Just chill out with paperwork a bit, please. Second thing that annoys me about Japan is, it's gonna get me some hate this one. People in Japan don't have much concept of spatial awareness. There, I've said it. This becomes obvious to you when you get it in face with an umbrella about 20 times when it's raining, because they're just like, well, I'm coming through, bro, you're in my way, shift. And um, I get bumped into all the time. I'm a big dude. I'm like, I'm easy to spot, yet people bump into me all the time. Like, ow, can you not see me? Like, what's the deal? I don't get it. Um, and people, there's so many smartphones on me about, like, they're just like, burr, 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 on Tinder or some shit. Burr, 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 burr. Bump. Like, yo, look where you're going, dude. Like, if you're playing Pokemon Go, get a Go Plus. Have a look around once in a while. Just, you're bumping into me, please. And there's no concept of keep left or keep right when you're walking. People just walk where they want. And you're walking along and then suddenly somebody, boom, cuts you straight up. Like, whoa, what just happened? And I'm a big dude. I don't want to just fucking bang straight into an old lady and knock her on her ass. Like, I need to calm down a bit. So I do a lot of sidestepping and doing that awkward dance where you don't know which way one of you is going to go. Just simple rule. Keep left. Problem solved. I know on Kansai they probably do it different and keep right anyway, but as long as everyone in the area knows which way they're going to stay, jobs are good in. Only place that people do this is escalators, and that's a big deal. God help you if you're in Tokyo and you get on the wrong side of escalator. You're going to be in for making some good friends out there, I tell you. Third thing, um, which is more personal to me, I think, than life in general in Japan, but coming here as an English teacher, I was kind of prepared for it, but it gets on your wick after two years, is work-life balance is not really a thing here. Like, I work every weekend, I work evenings until like 10 o'clock, and I work five days a week, sometimes six, sometimes seven, and work-life balance is not really a consideration sometimes. It's nature at job, and I knew when I come here, I was signing up for this, but part of me always thinks like, oh, I wish I could just have a Saturday off a month, you know, just so I could go to some events. I miss so many cool events because I'm working, and, People want to come to Japan, not just to work. I don't think come here just to work. I came here because I wanted to experience life and go to events and see cool stuff. And of course, it's got to be that balance, but it's definitely one-sided in Japan. And most people know that Japan, Japanese people are quite much harder. Like, 
enforced overtime and stuff, so I feel like I shouldn't really be bitching, but if you are thinking of coming here, that's part of the culture you should be prepared for. So, number four. This is where funeral starts. So, there was once a guy called Dan who hid in his room and made videos, and he caused a lot of trouble with this point, but I'm, I agree with him a bit. So, some Japanese food, only a very small percentage, maybe 1%, is not that good. I've said it. Why crucify me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. But there's some food, especially as an English dude, and I know English food sucks. Like, I'm sat in a glass house throwing stones, but I know. Some food in Japan is not good. And it's generally food that's Western oriented. Like, Japanese pizza. What is the obsession with banging sweet corn on every pizza? Like, shrimp mayonnaise shouldn't be a piece of flavor. Sorry, Tommy Chan. But, like, Japanese pizza is not amazing. I mean, who comes to Japan and eats pizza anyway? I know, I know. Generally, I don't eat that stuff. <clears throat> but sometimes you feel like, oh, I want a pizza. And pizza is not the one in Japan. Like, if you order from Domino's and stuff, it's expensive and it's small. And if you go to a convenience store, it's bound to got sweet corn all over it and stuff. Uh, it's not amazing. Another one that seems to cause trouble online is bacon. Ooh, Japanese bacon comes in two forms. It's either ham, like that thin ham you get in packets that's pretending to be bacon, or you get a great wadge of bacon about that thick. And it just sits, <laughs> and it's not crispy at all. I mean, I like English bacon. I can deal with American bacon, but Japanese bacon, uh, I'll eat it, don't get me wrong, I'll eat it. But sometimes I'm just like, oh, I wish you were a little bit better. Just, just a little bit. And bread, bread's another one. If you like massive thick slices of white bread, Japan is gonna be sick for you. If you fancy a bit of like whole grain every now and then, good luck, not gonna find it. And I miss bread cakes, being from Yorkshire. I miss a good bread cake. I haven't seen a good bread cake for a while. I know, pray for Dan, it's unbelievable. But yeah, so some things like that are a bit annoying. Fruit and vegetables are kind of expensive too. You can get discount stuff at supermarkets, but Generally, like, four apples is going to run you about three quid, which is pretty steep. So, yeah, some food is not the best. Fifth thing that kind of irritates me about Japan is I don't think Japanese dictionaries have got a word for noise pollution. It must not, because noise pollution is crazy in Japan. Like, for a country that loves to keep things quiet so people can sleep, like on a train. Don't use your phone on a train, put it on silent because that old businessman's trying to sleep. Next minute, you get off at a train station, there's 15 announcements going off, Mary had a little lamb jingles going, then she'll go my demons. Like, whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. And then if not that, it's like you're trying to get to sleep at night and a bunch of kids have got a motorbike and like, bah, 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 bah. super loud outside your house. Next minute, it's election season, so there's about 20 vans driving around with loudspeakers shouting at you to go and vote for them. And then national fronts following them, telling you that they don't like foreigners, and like, Jesus Christ, calm down everyone. There's no wonder so many people walk around with headphones, just be like, please, stuffoo. It's, it's a bit mad. So noise pollution is a bit of a strange one that annoys me, but if you ever come and live in Japan, or visit Japan for an extended period of time, you're gonna know what I mean. Okay. Whew, that's me negativity out of the way. As I said, don't crucify me too much. They're very small annoyances that have occurred to me in my two years in Japan. Can't love everything. On the whole, I love Japan, but there's some things that I kind of don't like. Today's question is, what don't you like about Japan? Comment section below, let me know. Don't forget to join me on Patreon, hashtag the Dan Fam. And the link's up here and it's in the description box and stuff like that. Um, come and join us for some extra content, but that's it for today. So as always until next time Jamata <laughs>